Hey guys, it's Ace Batch of Cool Ace number one batch because I'm single cool because I am. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Number two single YouTuber in the Philippines. Thank you subscribers and viewers for watching. So last night, Saturday night, I'm just hanging out at my apartment. No plans. I didn't plan on going out. I'm just relaxing. And of course, I'm on my phone, Messenger, WhatsApp, Viber. <laughs> You're chit-chatting with Filipina girls, I can do that. I'm single, single and free is the way to be, especially in Angeles City. <laughs> All right, so I've known this girl for a couple years, met her in 2022. She's a bar girl, beautiful, young, sexy Filipina. She's worked at a Korean bar on Walking Street. It's a go-go bar, the girls dance on stage, lady drinks, performance shows, but beautiful. She's a single mom and she's just out there jobbing, trying to survive. But recently she got moved. These girls move from bar to bar and sometimes it's not their choice. It could be the mama-san, like, hey, we're gonna move you to this bar. She actually got moved from a bar she worked at for a couple years to a brand new bar and it's on the other side of Walking Street and it's more of a, a Western bar, American bar, more foreigners and things like that. So she went from a Korean bar to a <laughs> totally different bar and she worked Friday night one night and she doesn't like it. She already had issues with the management and they're treating her like she's totally new to the game, and she's not. She's older, she's a veteran, she's worked on Walking Street for years. So she kind of had it out with the management. She doesn't want to go back there. She's talking to her mama son. Saturday night, she was off. She's not working at all. She's messaging me. It gets to the point where it's like, okay, come over, come over. All right, so she comes over to my apartment, gets off the tricycle. Of course, you know, I gotta pay for the trike. You know, and she's sitting right here on the, love seat that I'm on right now and I'm in my chair but her phone bat is low and she's like oh I forgot my charger at my place and it's like well I'll, okay <laughs> I don't have a charger that fits your phone uh, I was like we'll just venture out I'll, I'll get you a new charger and then she's a smoker and she doesn't have any cigarettes and I was like alright I'll buy you a pack of cigarettes Are you hungry yes She's hungry, so it's like, all right, why don't we just relax here for a few minutes, catch your breath, chit chat, catch up, that type of thing, and we will venture out. So we catch a trike onto the main road, then I went to the ATM machine, we went to 7-Eleven, we walked into a busy neighborhood off the main road, but there's vendors and kiosks and places like that. You can buy phone chargers. So I went ahead and bought that, bought a pack of cigarettes. Uh, then we went to a really nice Korean restaurant. Had a really nice meal, two bottles of soju, samgyeopsal, kimchi jjigae, all the side dishes. We both love Korean food, so it was wonderful. All right. Now let's get into this video. You guys, there's a dark side to Filipina bar girls. You can know these bar girls for a couple years, like in this case, or for a couple weeks, and you might think that you know them, but you don't because there's a dark side. <laughs> All right, so let's go over 10 things when it comes to the dark side of a Filipina bar girl. Number one, jealous. These Filipina girls are jealous. Every single Filipina girl is jealous. And of course, there's going to be different levels of jealousy. There's the basic bottom shelf level of jealousy and then there's like crazy 
psycho, out of the mind, jealousy. Some of these girls can be jealous of you if you just look at another girl. Say you're bar hopping on Walking Street or you know, people watching and you're looking at other beautiful, sexy, young Filipina girls and the girl you're with can be jealous. Every time you're on your phone and you're messaging, she thinks that you're chatting with another girl and she's jealous. But me, I'm on like a golf group chat, a billiards group chat. I'm on a bunch of other guy group chats. I'm actually talking to friends and guys and, uh, you know, yes, I chat with other gals, but the Filipino girl will get jealous because she thinks every time you're chatting with a Filipino girl. All right, so they're jealous. They want to know what's going on. Number two, argue, fighting. The whole jealousy thing, and once you know the girl for a little bit, it can lead to arguments, differences, fighting. It could be weeks into a relationship. It could be months. It could be a year. You kind of get through all the lovey-dovey stages, and you really kind of break down the barriers. You get to know each other a little bit more. Let's be honest, you guys. Like, I'm an older white guy from America, different country, different society, different culture. These girls can be 30 years younger than you. And of course, they grew up in the Philippines. So there's really, when it comes to things in common, you know, there's gonna be a lot of, you know, butting heads and differences fighting and arguing. Number three, mistress. You guys, these girls can end up being a mistress. A lot of us guys over here, we can actually be married. We have a girlfriend, relationship, spouse, wife, partner, significant other, and we like to hit the bar scene, the entertainment district. There's lots of young, beautiful, sexy Filipinas. So the girl that you've known for a couple weeks or months and you're actually kind of starting a little relationship with her, she falls into the mistress category. Number four, babies. There's a lot of single Filipino girls, especially up here in the Angeles City area, Walking Street. They're dancers, performers on stage, and they are single mothers. Most of the time, if you just ask one of these girls, do they have a baby? It's like, yes. And from what I'm finding out is a lot of girls will say they just have one baby. They actually have two babies. And you might not find out till months down the road or maybe a year or two down the road. It's like you talk to these girls and they slip up with a lie. You can catch them in a lie. And it's like, well, that's weird. I always thought you had one baby. Now all of a sudden you have two babies. <laughs> so, but these girls are young. They're in their early 20s and they already have one baby, two baby, things like that. Number five, butterfly. You've heard the term butterfly. There's Baba Arrow. There's Lala Caro. This is when a guy like me, it doesn't matter if you're single or what your status is, but you are a flirt. You are flirting with other girls. So the girls catch on to that and they nickname you and they say that you're a butterfly, you're Baba Arrow, you chat with other girls, you're dating other girls, you're seen with other girls. You know, there's eyes everywhere and they just see you out and about with other girls and the other girls could be friends or whatever, but these girls are going to automatically think that you're a butterfly and of course... Lala Caro is the opposite. It's when girls flirt or they're butterfly to other guys. Number six, dark side of Filipina bar girls. <laughs> Swallow. 
a lot of these Filipino girls, they're really good in the bedroom. Seriously, Filipino girls are some of the most beautiful girls in the world. They're always happy, smiling, beautiful brown skin, long black silk hair, dimples, plush lips, flap this, tight that, bubble that. These girls are beautiful, they're young, they're sexy, and they're good in the bedroom. Some of these girls swallow. <laughs> Number seven, sponsor with a Filipino guy. Some of these girls already have a Filipino boyfriend, a Sawa husband. They're dating the trike driver. These Filipino girls lean towards the Filipino guy. They have more in common. They grow up together. They go to school together. They've been in the Philippines their whole life. So they just have more in common, personalities, culture, all that stuff. Sponsor. Now, if they don't have a, a Filipino guy working and helping each other out, then a lot of these Filipino girls on Walking Street in the bar area, they can have a foreigner sponsor. The girl that I was with last night, we went out to the Korean restaurant. Now she likes to smoke, so she's a smoker, so she would step outside and she would be gone for like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. She would be outside for a long time. And of course, I'm just eating and drinking and hanging out and I'm playing on my own phone. After the Korean restaurant, we go to a KTV, karaoke bar, and it's really nice. Nice furniture, couches, coffee tables. So we order like beer. And once again, she steps outside. Well, for a long period of time, she's on her phone. Things like that. Well, after having two bottles of soju at the Korean restaurant, and then we're drinking beer, you know, she's outside smoking and all that. Well, she comes inside and she's on her phone and I get a look at her phone and sure enough, she has video chat. She is video chatting a guy and it looked like an older white guy gray hair and then I heard him speak and he's speaking English and then she sat down on the sofa and she kind of turned her phone and I think she turned it off or... so it looks like she has a sponsor you guys if you're a foreigner and you are back home in your home country and you're sponsoring these Filipino girls guess what they're doing when you're back in your home country they're with me, having dinner, drinks, coming back to my apartment, having fun. Number eight, these Filipino girls, some of them are into same sex. They could be lesbians, bi, these girls like each other, they bend together. And of course, you know, bi, they go both ways. A lot of these girls on walking street, dancers, they're friends with females, they live with females, they dance with the females, they hang out with other females, so they're very close. And on Walking Street, it, it could be business is business. Their job is just to get the foreigners money. So it's like, they're gonna act like or tell the foreigner what the foreigner wants to hear but in reality, these girls have a girlfriend, a lover, female, partner, even though she's got to play the game with the foreigner to try and extract money. Number nine, threesome. This leads to threesome. A lot of these Filipino girls are into threesomes, foursomes, it, especially if they know another female, they don't mind spending time with a female that they already know and they're comfortable with. So these Filipino girls, like I said, they're good in the bedroom. They do different things. So they're open to three stops. Number 10, anal. <laughs> with all this fun in the bedroom with different people and things like that, if she's into swallowing, 
and having fun with different partners. You know, uh, these Filipino girls, a lot of them can take it to different levels. It's funny because you can always tease these girls and say, you're a cherry girl. <laughs> and these girls would be like, cherry ass. It's like, yeah, right. Cherry nose, cherry ear. A lot of these Filipino girls, the dark side to a Filipino bar girl, some of them do anal. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this video. 10 things. The dark side of a Filipino bar girl. And we will see you on the next video. Peace.